Okay, so we started yesterday at 4 o'clock, Stephanie and myself, um, with this challenge or idea that we would try and understand better what it is that United Way does for Elgin St. Thomas. And we thought, besides just collecting some money um, by learning what the services are, we could create some awareness and tell our story after to those we work with and to those we meet in the community. So we started at four yesterday and our first stop was the YWCA where we met some of the residents, we talked to the person in charge and we realized right away that homelessness doesn't mean living on the streets, it doesn't mean just not owning your own home, it means couch surfing, it means sleeping in vehicles. Um, even after we left the YWCA we realized we weren't seeing homelessness. I think we thought we would see that would be so obvious to us because we hear about it, and it's just not the case. We don't necessarily want to be seen. Um, the longer we endured this challenge, we realized we started to meet a few. We realized two of the biggest issues that the agencies have been telling us are mental health and to have a lack of food, and not just a lack of food in non-perishable items, but the lack of the idea of how to make food, or how to evolve that gap of taking care of yourself. Um, so from the YWCA, um, we did one donation collection at Legends, and we realized how easily uh, the young people of St. Thomas have donated, without question. They reached into their pockets, it might have been a toonie, it might have been a loonie, um, there was no problem there, and we thought that was pretty great. So from there, um, we ended up sleeping in a truck. Um, it was a difficult experience, I would say. It was quite cold, and as much as you wanted to be able to sleep, I mean, we, we didn't have the elements affecting us in terms of wind or rain, if you had that, but um, you definitely... Um, had this sense of could anyone be around or want to try and get into the vehicle. You didn't necessarily even feel that safe and secure so you couldn't really restfully sleep and then it went down to about two so it was really um, was really really cold for us um, and then that morning we had tried to go to a couple of uh, coffee shops but were turned away and um, actually went to McDonald's where um, different from the night before we had seen a bit more of um, an older demographic, and um, they, we found, were really, really willing um, to give. Um, there were people that um, had said things like they couldn't, or um, you would get people, because we were at the doors and not in the drive through that would look at our sign and look away as if they didn't see you, as if they don't see the problem uh, kind of thing. Um, so we did um, feel that sense of rejection at the same time. Um, from our McDonald's location, next. We were invited um, to Scotiabank. Yes, <clears throat> we'd seen uh, um, an employee at Scotiabank the night before, and he'd invited us to come there, and Scotiabank gave a donation. Um, then we went to Disbrose, was that next? We went to Wendy's. Wendy's, the last minute, yes, the last minute. Change. <laughs> and they were great. They allowed us to go straight to the drive-thru. Um, people did give donations, we found that they had the change in their car and they were just willing to give that. Um, then we went to Disbro's, the car dealership, and they had done a 50-50 with their employees and given us the proceeds from that. Um, around that time, it had been, I think, close to the 20-hour mark, and we really, really did start to get really tired. Um, we were also getting hungry at that point. Um, throughout this whole thing, we only asked those that if you would donate to a homeless person on a regular basis, then we would accept uh, food from you if you would do that. Um, so there was a lady at Disbro's that had her sandwich from her lunch that she gave to the two of us and I don't think I'd ever been that happy to have <laughs> peanut butter on bread. But you know, you just, you get to that point where you, you're hungry, you're tired, you don't really know what you're doing until you have to sleep and where you're gonna sleep. And you just started to have those feelings settle in our next location was the superstore. We're trying to gear ourselves up for it a little bit because we're starting to feel a little bit 
I'm like down and tired and unmotivated. And it was actually really exciting there. There were um, a few people, one lady that um, volunteers at the Salvation Army that said, um, asked us kind of about the challenge and, um, you know, commended us for what we've done. One man had seen us on my FM and um, said that, you know, it should really be 400 hours, not 40 hours. And that you're not really going to understand, you know, what it, what life is like. And we told him we we're completely aware of that. We know that we won't understand, but we wanted to do something active and demonstrate to people that we do care um, and to try and get a sense of what it might be like. Um, another lady had her... Um, St. Thomas Times Journal and had the picture of us in there and came and said, are you these people? And gave <laughs> donations. We saw a former board member or chair from the United Way that donated and um, was really proud of, of what we were doing and wanted to know what message we would want to send the community. And after a couple more of our stops today, some of the things that I had thought about were that we all have a responsibility to know the needs of our community. Um, it's not just homelessness. There are lots of needs in the St. Thomas Elgin community that are out there. I think as citizens we have a responsibility to know what those needs are. And second of all, know what services are available um, in the community to support those needs. And in whatever way we can, and I think I would suggest to people to visit those services, meet the people that work there. Um, and see what they do and see um, the people that they support firsthand and ask if there are ways that you can donate other than financially. That was something that struck me to the core today was that um, there was no one so far that asked when they said, I can't give money, but is there anything else I can do? No one took that step further to say, is there something, some way I can be of value even if it is not financially? And we found out on our on our time that there are so many needs um, for clothing, toiletry, food. Um, I mean, there must be times when you have things in your cupboards you don't need. There must be times when you have clothing that you are no longer wearing or time that you could give that, you know, you don't need to watch a program on TV. There are so many little steps that you can do, even if it's not financial, that would make a huge difference for a lot of these services. So from there, our next stop was to Fresh Start Maternity Support. Um, I think we were we were a little bit unsure of the service. We, you know, myself oh, thought sorry. that we thought that maybe this was a time when maybe you were pregnant and you felt you could go home to mom and dad and tell you tell them this has happened, so there's was a support home, and we learned it's entirely bigger than this. It's one service in St. Thomas, no longer offered in London. They house about eight girls that have come out of a system that perhaps maybe made a bad choice at once in their life, um, did in fact get pregnant, have nowhere to turn, are trying to turn themselves around, or they've been abused, um, they live there with their children, they can live there up for two years. There's a huge waiting list and my heart went out when we were there. I wanted to stay and babysit all the kids there. <laughs> so small things like that, they of course, yes, they need money too, but they're looking for people to come in for an hour every day or whenever you can to babysit just so that the parents can get their grade 12 education, that they can do their volunteer hours, that they can get back into the community. And again, mental health issues are there. So they're trying to um, evolve the system a little 